thought I'd make a really nice fish curry today. Now this fish curry, very simple, very quick, and it's delicious, so you've got to give it a try. Now, the first thing I want to do is just quickly go through the ingredients I'm going to use. Now, I've got some fish sauce there. I'm going to give, you know, the curry a good splash with the fish sauce. You know, it just adds a real lovely sort of depth of flavour. Now, for these other ingredients, I'm going to use a teaspoon measurement. And the first thing I've got is hot chilli flakes, one teaspoon. Cumin seeds, one teaspoon. Ground turmeric, one teaspoon. Now, here I've got some paste. It's called tamarind paste. And you can buy that in the supermarket. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of tamarind paste. Coriander seeds, four teaspoons of coriander seeds. Two cans of coconut milk. Then you want a little bit of oil. I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil, but you could use like vegetable oil or sunflower oil if you wanted to. Some salt, just to sort of give it a little bit more seasoning. And this selection here, the onion, the ginger, the garlic, and we've got the couple of chilies, they're all going to be blended in the blender. Now I've got one large onion, a good sized piece of fresh ginger, about five or six cloves of the garlic, and I've got a couple of green chilies. Take the seeds out, and as I say, blend it all up. If you like your sort of curries really fiery and hot, obviously you could add another one or two of these green chilies, but be careful, because obviously you've got a spoon, you know, a teaspoon full of sort of chilli flakes, you don't want to go overboard, otherwise it's going to be too overpowering. Now with the fish, in total, on that plate, I've got one kilo. So I've got a mixture of prawns and I've got some cod. Now the cod are cod cutlets, and they've actually got the bone in, so, you know, normally when I sort of do things like curries, I always say take the bones out, but these cod cutlets, really nice. The only thing is you kind of slip them in the sort of curry sauce, cook them for about five minutes at the end, and you don't muck about with them too much. Now, you just serve one piece up as it is, and it's delicious. But if you're not sure about the bone side of it, just go and make sure you get you know, your fish and tell them you don't want any bones in there, and you can take the skin off if you want. You can use pollock, or you can use haddock, or you can use cod. You know, whatever you like. Fresh coriander, just going to sprinkle that, some of that at the end. And then I've got one lime. I'm not going to use it all, but just give it a good squeeze, really to sort of freshen it up at the end. So there's all the ingredients. Now what I'm going to first of all do is get me a small blender and I'm going to blend up the onions, the ginger, the garlic and the chilies. Make a really nice paste and it'll be delicious. So let's get that done first. So I've got my blender and I've just chopped up roughly, you know, the onions and stuff and got the you know, ginger here and stuff. So just going to pop those in, get those all in there. Again, we can put the... Fill it up really. Try and get as much as you can in. If you've got to do it in two batches, so be it, but I think we might, might need to. Let's take that stalk off of that. I'll just give that a quick blip, and then we can put the rest of that in. So let's just get it started. Now we should be able to just about get the rest of that in. I like this little blender because it saves a lot of messing about. I mean, I've got a bigger one, but it's just too much washing up afterwards. That's it. Just about fitted that in there. Now I'm going to put a bit of a glug of the oil. And let's give that... I've finished with that paste, look at that, all nice and fine paste. Now I'm just going to leave that there, and what we're going to do is go over to the hob, get the frying pan, because what I want to do next is to toast up the cumin seeds, the coriander, and the hot chilli flakes. Just slightly toast them, and then we can put them in a pestle and mortar and grind them down. Got a really nice flavour then. So let's go over to the hob and get a frying pan. So I've got my frying pan, it's not switched on at the moment. Now I've got one teaspoon of the hot chilli flakes, one teaspoon of the cumin seeds, and then I've got four teaspoons of these coriander seeds. So I'm going to switch the heat on, and we're just going to very lightly toast those, not for very long though. Now I've just been cooking for about a minute, the pan's warming up, and they're just starting to pop slightly, so 
a quick shake around. We don't need to do it very long and you start getting the sort of smells, you know, fragrant sort of aromas and let's say it's, it's done. I would say one to two minutes at the very most. I'm going to turn the heat off now and that's done. So I'm going to use my pestle and mortar, just show you that, there we go, just slightly toast it off. Now be careful because obviously these are still, this pan's going to be hot. But they smell really nice. Just try and get them in there and grind them down nice and fine. So, squash them down. Oh yeah. There you go, look at that. And they're going to taste really nice because we sort of toasted them in the frying pan, so beautiful. So let's go over to the hob and we're going to start the cooking. So I've got all my ingredients laid out and I've got me wok. It's not a very good wok this one, but we're not going to be cooking at high temperatures. This is, you know, just a nice big pan that I'm going to use. So if you haven't got a wok, just use like a, a big sort of frying pan, whatever you've got really, preferably one with a lid. So I'm going to switch the heat on. Now we don't need to do this on a very high heat or anything, just I'd say medium, sort of medium low. Now I'm going to start off, just put, again, just a little bit of oil in the pan really. Just going to turn that down a little bit. Give that a quick shake around. Now I'm going to go straight in with that sort of paste that we made. Smelling really nice already. Really, what I would say is you can cook this, you know, just for two or three minutes, really. And again, just make sure you give it a good stir. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those seeds in now, the ones we sort of toasted and then we ground them. Just pop those in. Give that a mix. going to smell beautiful now. Oh. So once you've got those all really nicely mixed, again just cook those. I'd say no more than about a minute. So in total three or four minutes once you put the paste in, you add in the, the toasted seeds for another minute. Now I'm also going to add a pinch of salt and each time you add an ingredient you know just make sure you sort of stir it well just get it all mixed up so just to give you an idea we've now been cooking for about five minutes now at this stage I think it's a good time to put that coconut milk in so I've got two cans and get it out. I'm going to use a. I'm going to have to use this spoon. That'll be alright once you've mixed it all up. And again, get the other can in there as well. And just give it a mix. You can play about the temperature, you can turn it up a little bit just to get it going again. I'm just going to turn it up. So again, give that a good stir, get it all nicely blended. Now it doesn't hurt if we use a teaspoon of turmeric. So I'm going to put that in. It's going to put a really nice colour to it, so let's just get teaspoon and I've also got that tamarind paste so I'm going to use two teaspoons of that 
and also a good splash of fish sauce. So let's just try and get it all mixed up. Should turn a lovely colour with that turmeric. And just let it sort of come up to sort of simmer again, you know, so it's bubbling away just to get it all nicely mixed. And now we've got it all in there, you can cook this for about five minutes. So really, five minutes once you've got the paste in, then you add all the coconut milk and tamarind paste and turmeric, and then cook for about another five minutes. So again, just give that a quick stir up. It's just starting to slowly thicken up a little bit, got a beautiful colour. Now from when we started cooking in this wok, and we put the sort of, you know, the paste in there and everything, We've been cooking now for just about 10 minutes, so I think really we're at the stage where we can put the fish in. So I'm going to grab my fish. Now before I put it in, I am just going to season it very slightly with a little bit of salt. And, uh, just very gently put the fish in there. We're not going to muck about with it, we're just going to leave the fish alone. Put the last bit in there. We'll just get it so it's in the actual sauce. I'm going to put a lid on there and I'm going to let that simmer away, I would say, for about five minutes. At the five minute mark, I'm just going to pop all the prawns in there. So I'm just going to put a lid on my curry and make sure the heat isn't too high. So it's just gently bubbling away. So I've been cooking that curry with the fish in for that extra five minutes. And I think the fish is just about done, but what I want to do is to put those prawns in there. So let's grab those and just sprinkle those in. And these only take about a minute. They tend to go a sort of slightly pinky color when they're cooked. So again, just give them a quick light stir around. Don't move the fish too much. Put the lid on. And I'll say just for another minute, and then you can switch the heat off. So I've just given those prawns that minute. Look at that, and they've got a slightly pinky colour. So let's have a look. Look, so they've got a slightly pinky colour now. Ooh, I'm tempted to try one of these. I am. I'm going to try one with that sauce. Mm mm. Ah. That's delicious. Mm. I'm going to serve that up, a little bit of rice, sprinkle a little bit of coriander, give it a squeeze of lime. Now, I'm just going to sprinkle some of this fresh coriander. Just really makes it look nice and taste nice as well. And I'm going to give it a squeeze of lime, just to kind of freshen it up a little bit. Just give that a good squeeze. That's ready to serve up. So I've got myself some rice and I'm just gonna serve up this beautiful bit of cod. And also got some of those prawns there. Let's just get a couple more of those. Oh yeah. Lovely, lovely. Now I'm just gonna try a little bit of that. I'm gonna start with one of these prawns. Get a little bit of sauce in there. Really nice. Mm. And it's not too sort of spicy, so you know, if you've got youngsters involved, obviously not too much. You just open that up, that the fish nicely cooked inside. Obviously there are a few bones, so do be a little bit careful, but let's just try that again. Mm. Fish is really nicely cooked. Got a lovely flavour. So be careful for the odd bone, or get yourself some fish with no bones and then you've got it nice and safe. Really delicious and really simple. Whoa. Look at that. Just get a bit of that sauce. A few more of those prawns. Delicious. Thanks for watching The Original Naked Chef.